Heather Waldman taking a look at our conditions outside. Heather. Yeah, nice to be able to see for a pretty good distance from that Sutter Buttes camera. Air quality in the valley is good. Here's a unique view for you. Live Copter 3 headed up Highway 50. They're around Pollock Pines right now. Look at that. That must be the last little bit of snow that's left in the Sierra at this point. It's nice to see. It's nice to think about when we've been talking about a month plus of some pretty intense heat. But wow, look at the view there. Powerful zoom on that camera. Nice to see. It is 102 degrees in downtown Sacramento right now. So yeah, use the snow to think cool thoughts if you will. We'll be in the upper 90s still at 7 o'clock this evening. Not much of a delta breeze. So we're going to stay around 70 degrees as we head into the start of the day on Friday. Right now, satellite picture. It's quiet across the valley. Some scattered high clouds are starting to stream into the San Joaquin Valley. Do have a little bit of a marine layer, but it is getting shallower. So it is going to have less of an influence here in the coming days. What we will be watching this little swirl of clouds and a few showers. That's our next round of some monsoon moisture. It's going to be working its way north. What you're going to notice tomorrow in the valley and in the foothills is the widespread clouds. They'll thin out at times. It'll still be a relatively bright day, but those clouds shielding us from the worst of the heat should keep temperatures in the upper 90s. Let's focus on the Sierra, though, because by the afternoon there will be some showers and a few gusty thunderstorms as well. Not a lot of rain reaching the ground. The concern with these showers is the dry lightning and any what we call outflow winds that develop with some of these storms. The winds on their own not going to cause any issues, but if one of those wind gusts were to blow where we have an active fire, that would increase fire activity. And of course, if we get dry lightning that starts a fire, those outflow winds could spread that fire pretty quickly. That's a concern for tomorrow and for Saturday in the Sierra as well. Keep in mind anything you see over the valley on this model is overdone. It's going to stay dry in the valley, but we'll see an increase in clouds. Another thing to watch with these showers moving through is the air quality. Yesterday, of course, air quality was in that unhealthy range. Today, Tomorrow unhealthy for some, but we'll be in that moderate to good range by the time we get to Saturday. So any of those showers hopefully helping to clear the air out a bit. Again, it's the fire concern that we will be watching for as those showers move through with the gusty winds and the potential for some of that lightning. Seven day forecast for the valley shows again a lot of clouds for Friday, but it's going to be a dry and very warm day. Temperatures in the upper 90s and here we go. The sun is back for the weekend. The heat is back too. plan on more afternoon storms in the Sierra on Saturday, but quieter weather after that. Back to you. All right. Thanks for that. Uh, appreciate it, Heather.